Hello, I'm Kubolt and welcome to the second video from the short series in which I will show you how to um, s how to create a skeleton, skin and rig uh, Mac robot model and retarget movement I'm set pro animations to this Mac using Maya LT and Motion Builder. Uh, so this is the second video from the series. If you haven't watched the first video, uh, please go and watch it and come back. So, uh, in previous video we created a skeleton uh, for the Mac and now we're going to uh, assign a skin to the model uh, so the bones will move the Mac. Right now the Mac is not skinned so when I uh, select the bone and move it, it just uh, just bones move. Um, so, um, first I noticed a little bit, a little mistake uh, in here. Um, this joint should be here. So um, to correct that I want to correct it with uh, both legs so I will just select the right leg and press delete to delete the bones and then I will go to this bone and I will press space to get access to um, different views and I will select a uh, side view. Now I will just move this leg rotate this leg a little bit here select the foot and move this leg here this will be the the, uh, the foot joint um, now space and let me get back to to this now we want uh, to the the right leg to be recreated using this new um, translate uh, this new setting so let's select the upper leg here and go skeleton and mirror joints the joints were mirrored just like before with the prefix right instead of left. And now let's skin this, this model. So to skin it we have to just select the model itself and just the bones that it will um, that, that will move the model. In our case the root will not influence the model itself and the little tip fingertips here also will be not um, influencing the model directly. So now when we selected the bones let's go to skin and bind skin with the little square here to get to the options. Uh, you should use bind to select the joints only not joint hierarchy because it will select all the bones including the root to the skin but the, you want the skin just to move uh, you want the skin uh, to be on the bones that will actually move the model. The root is here outside in zero so go select the joints max influences if you are making a, um, a model that bends for example a human human being then set it to four because uh, that's four bones that can move your uh, influence your vertex and this is good for bendy stuff but our mech is actually all hard surface none of uh, its part it parts uh, none of its part bend so it's just one. So one bone can in one bone can influence one vertices, and just click bind skin. Now our model is, is skinned, and you can grab the bone, and the bones move the model itself. Uh, but of course, uh, it's automatic, so the skin is not perfect. Let's adjust it using uh, paint painting, um, uh, weight painting. Sorry. So let's select the model, go to skin paint skin weights and you can see here our bones and their influences on the model. So let's start by painting uh, the influences for the hips and here is our paintbrush. If I press B button and hold it and move the mouse I can actually with the left mouse button clicked I can adjust the size of the brush. So. Uh, today I want to paint just uh, I mean to, not today but <laughs> I want to paint just the hips now so let's go paint operation add add weight uh, it's hard surface so I'm going to pick solid brush and opacity and value to one and let's just paint it I'm going to paint just the left side of the Mac and then mirror skin weights to the right side yeah, the hips, left side of the hips are painted. Now let's proceed and move to the spine. Spine will be this turret and 
the upper body. Okay, now the head. The head is this little turret. That's the head bone. The bone that you choose actually highlights. So, on, on the blue. Right, that's the head, and let's proceed to the left upper leg. Now the left lower leg. Sometimes it's convenient to get into the mesh inside, like with the camera, and paint it inside. And then left foot. and left toe base. All right. Now we can just check if the if the weights will mirror correctly. So let's select the mesh, go to skin and mirror skin weights. And now we should do a test animation to see if everything is okay. So let's just rotate bones one after another. No vertices are dragging behind, so looks that everything is all right. See, dragging vertices. So. To make skinning easier, in this case, we can just grab the bone. Here's our timeline, right? So, with the bone grabbed, let's press, press S key on the keyboard and it will insert uh, an animation key to the timeline. And then we can move the timeline to, for example, 10 frames, move it move the, the bone uh, away from the body and then press S key again. So this created an animation and now we can use this to easily pinpoint and uh, paint and correct the painting weights. So again, skin, paint weights, head and let's correct all errors. Okay, if this doesn't work, then from the other side. Uh, 
That's correct. All right. So we have a skin mesh, and we can now proceed to animate it in Motion Builder using Movement Animated Pro.